What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Ice Spice Reacts, where every day we <laughs> react to Ice Spice and Ice Spice News. Thank you for tuning in. As per usual, we're going to start the video by not doing that and doing some programming. So let's jump right into it. Puddles. Poodles. People interrupting you and finishing your sentence for you. What do these three things have in common? That's right, they're all really annoying, but only one of them holds the key to artificial intelligence. That's right, predicting the next word that someone's gonna say. Famous Rubik's Cuber YouTuber Bad Mephisto himself, when he invented artificial intelligence, said, When I was at a party and someone kept interrupting me, I thought, hmm. I think all of intelligence can be based off of this. And so he said it, and so it was done. For she is language, and she is large. And this is a special large language model episode of K0P. Thank you for tuning back in, everybody. Today we're gonna try to make ChatGPT create an SOLang for us. Let's see how it does. All right, and here we are back at the computer. And before we get into the actual ChatGPT, I was gonna see, I want to show you guys some extensions you can use with ChatGPT to uh, give it a bit of oomph. So this one uh, is pretty cool. You should download Superpower, ChatGPT, and WebChat. GPT and just to show you guys what those do here we get with the superpower GPT we get a history button to show our old um, prompts and here we also get this cool library of other people's prompts so maybe someone has a similar idea that um, you can use maybe this might be a bit of a reach SLA okay whatever but so it's pretty cool library prompts that you can use and then web chat GPT, this one, lets you search the web. So you can say uh, something and it'll search the web and put the results into the answer. So I'll leave these two in the description. I think they're pretty cool ways to enhance your GPT experience. Uh, but we're not here for that. We are going to create a new chat and try to get an SOLang out of this little chatty boy. Can start simple, write an esoteric programming language of your own design in C. Do not tell me what it does, but it should have one sample program. Okay, so we've got a pretty small language here, and it is made up of beeps, blinks, and rotations. Uh -huh. And so we can actually go ahead. So here it is. And now we can um, run it. can't help but feel like maybe it used a little bit more than its language but it did uh, throw the beep in there so it's trying to make a language with four macros which to be fair is kind of interesting you know a language with just four macros however it is totally not a language uh, because it's cheating so that one is okay we'll do a language we'll do we're gonna call it beeply 